All right, so here's a question for you. When you're taking your lead at first and the pitcher's in the stretch, what part of the pitcher are you looking at the, the, to determine if he's going to go home or pick off? Um, most people look at the heel. They, they wait to see the heel elevate, and when this happens, they think that the pitcher's going to go home. What I was taught, what I recommend, is to look at the pitcher, kind of his whole back, you know, kind of through, through here. And the reason why I recommend that is because the higher levels that you go, pitchers get really, really good at deception and balk moves. If you're looking at the, at the heel, the pitcher can, can do one of the balk moves where he lifts the heel and still picks over. Nobody can really tell. The umpires very rarely call it. And you end up getting picked and you're mad because you think it was a balk, but it, you know, in all reality, it's, it's part of baseball. So, but if you look at the back as the hole, you know, if you're looking at the back, you can always tell which way the shoulders go from, from a right-handed pitcher. Shoulders go this way, he's coming. Shoulders go that way, he's going home. You really can't deceive somebody when you're looking at that part of the, of the pitcher. 